ये 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 वो सब वाकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वालेकुम टू ऑल द पीपल दिस इज ये बॉय टोनी सबैस्टिन ए के एस टोनी साइको एंड लेट मी वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ऑफ स्टेज पॉडकास्ट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज नॉट योर ऑर्डिनरी पॉडकास्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज बाय द आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम द आर्टिस्ट टू ऑल द पीपल आउट देर सो लेट मी गिव यू अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट आर टूडेज गेस्ट शी इज़ वन ऑफ द लीडिंग फेमसीज इन द गेम रेपिंग मुंबई हिप हॉप मोर देन अ डेकेट शी इज़ एन आईकॉन फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ गर्ल्स आउट देर She is our national treasure, ladies and gentlemen, homies and shorties. Make some noise for the MC. What's up? Burr, 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 burr. What's up? What's up? A lot of femsies are coming up, mm-hmm. and a lot of them look up to you. I have really accepted my femininity, and you know, like the feminine energy that I have, and. I think that has inspired the women around me more. In a room full of both hearts, I would rather be both soft. <laughs> okay, okay. Talk to me. Like, what? How was life after Gully Boy? That scene is it, bro. वही तो था अपने लिए Gully Boy, अपने घरवालों को दिखाने के लिए कि यही है, यही हम बता रहे थे आपको. चल ला, ये तो खाल तो गए ये तो. Like let's moving from your achievements. Let's talk about the music that you have dropped. Mm-hmm. You have dropped a hell lot of music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been like checking out. I went on to check out, check it out once again. There's a hell lot of music. Yeah. Like starting from your first album, D is equal to all the MC square. Fault of flex. No. वो एल्बम बनाने का पूरा एक्सपीरियंस ही बहुत यूनिक था क्योंकि रिमोटली हमने बनाया है यू नो वो यूके में बैठा है मैं इधर बैठी हूँ शार्ट आउट टू सुनित म्यूजिक ही इज प्रोड्यूस ऑल द सॉन्ग्स इन दैट एल्बम सेवन सॉन्ग्स ही इज मिक्स मास्टर द इंटायर एल्बम एंड देसी हिप हॉप हेल्प मी put it out in a good way you know like uh, they help me put out uh, you know have proper listening session show proper uh, sub organize humne hi kiya tha yahan pe mm-hmm. basically but there was a support system of some sort uh, and work, getting to work with a <coughs> artist like sunit jo already itna experienced hai matlab you know ek sound ka jo matlab sound engineer jab काम करता है आपके साथ इतना क्लोजली तो जो क्वालिटी चेंज हो जाता है वो पूरा एविडेंट है मेरा उसके पहले yeah. का हर एक गाना एंड वो एल्बम का गाना एक mm-hmm. पूरा एक बेंचमार्क अपने लिए मैंने सेट किया है नो विद दैट एंड उसमें वॉज मेजरली जस्ट अबाउट वो टाइम का जो मेरा स्टेट ऑफ माइंड था वो जो भी मैंने तेरे से बात किया कि यू you नो know, एक एंग्री यंग फेमिनिस्ट वाला जो फेस था मेरा और एक मैसेजिंग uh, वाला जो फेस था मेरा वो उठ के आता है वो एल्बम में बेसिकली कि यू नो आई वॉन्ट इट एवरी एनी एनी टाइम आई मेक अ ट्रैक आई वॉन्ट देर टू बी सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मैसेज बट आई नेवर वॉन्टेड इट टू बी सो सीरियस दैट लोगों को लगे कि मैं प्रीच कर रही हूँ तो इवन वन आई टॉक्ट अबाउट सोशल इश्यूज आई नेवर वॉन्टेड इट टू कम फ्रॉम अ प्लेस ऑफ प्रीचिंग कि अरे ऐसा क्यों है यू नो ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए ऐसा वाला कभी मेरे को नहीं करने का था I always wanted to take like a satirical, like a sarcastic take on things कि ऐसा ही है मेरे को मालूम है कि ऐसा ही है तो भी मैं अपना करूँगी चेंज लाने के लिए बेसिकली सो ये पूरा एल्बम का जोन ही वो था एंड लाइक द नेम ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ कम्स फ्रॉम दैट काइंड ऑफ दिस थिंग कि यू नो मेरे को पता है कि मैं एक ही हूँ अभी फिलहाल के लिए तो है और लोग भी बट एज अ फीमेल वो एक ना मेरे को मतलब ये मेरा ओपिनियन है कि लड़की लोगों को अपने काम पे या हाँ मेजरली अपने काम पे या इंडिविजुअलिटी पे प्राइड लेना नहीं सिखाया जाता है हम लोग को सिखाया जाता है टू मेक श्योर दैट द एंटायर रूम इज कंफर्टेबल राइट कि दूसरे लोगों के बारे में पहले सोचो ऐसा कि सैक्रिफाइस इज व्हाट मेक्स अ ग्रेट मदर सैक्रिफाइस इज वॉट मेक्स अ ग्रेट वाइफ यू नो शट लाइक दैट सो इट इट केम फ्रॉम दैट सेंस ऑफ कॉकीनेस कि मैं एक ही हूँ बट आई एम equal to all you other mc squared so <laughs> that's where that came from basically so i i want to recollect a recent incident that happened that you raised the voice against the abusive rap that was made against women and then you just raised your voice against it and and there is a lot of people who hated you for that yeah that was like very stupid thing that happened wo maine jaan bujh ke delete nahi kiya abhi bhi wo udhar hai wo bhi history hai indian hip hop ka yeah that, that exactly that's why that <laughs> and that dude keep the... my mind because you are you are being the voice to the women mm-hmm. and you are uh, raising your voice when there is someone irony hai na wo mere ko right prove kar diya wo log ne but then you you raised your voice and then instead of people supporting <laughs> you people are hating you for doing this like Like they proved uh, my point na by doing that only literally the irony tha wo bro ki they proved my point and again you know shit like this happens when i really believe that 
nothing's random the last post i had put before i called out the people was a photo of me siri and meba Mm-hmm. three of the biggest female rappers in this country mm-hmm. th- mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. and that photo you go and check there are thousand plus comments calling me only the same word that i called out and giving me death threats rape threats and what not you know seriously i have been seeing this happening a lot of time you once you raise your voice and then you get uh, rape threats death threats and everything like sadly it's, it's, us girls it's kind have of crazy accepted for me that in a way like me being a spectator of hip hop and being an hip hop hip hop person from till the ending and it's hip hop is always for me it's being about like raising your voice against the shit that's happening around you so like you did your thing mm-hmm. and like instead of a lot of people supporting you there, there was a lot of hate comments and that was that was like that was like the shit actually the main main seen. thing that people were like ki english mein tumko chalta hai हिंदी में तुमको नहीं चलता है ऐसा उनका आर्ग्यूमेंट था mm-hmm. तो मैं ये बोल रही हूँ कि जो बीफ तुम करते हो उधर मर गए लोग टू पाक बिगी मर गए इधर है हिम्मत किसी को उतना है डैश में दम कि तुम निकल के यू you नो know, सबको ऑनलाइन आता है करने के लिए बट स्ट्रीट्स में वॉयलेंस नहीं आया है हिप हॉप में अभी तक तो जब वो टाइप का वॉयलेंस नहीं आया है तो सेक्शुअल वॉयलेंस क्यों ला रहे हो इट्स अ कल्चर वी आर अडोप्टिंग फ्रॉम द वेस्ट so why not adopt the good things in it tab abhi tak misogyny ekdam zyada nahi hai indian hip hop mein is my opinion ki mm-hmm. misogyny hote honge gaane misogynist songs but ekdam matlab obviously jo bollywood mein ho raha tha before the underground movement wo to pura ka pura misogynist hi hai mm-hmm. bollywood rap to full on misogynist hi hai for sure but underground scene mein uh, sexually violent content ya sexually explicit content uh, degrading a female aise gaane nahi banaye logo ne actually to jidhar nahi hai udhar kyu leke aa rahe ho kyunki Young impressionable boys are listening to you. Fourteen, fourteen year old boys are listening to you and looking at you as an idol. So why not do good things? Why bring? Why mm-hmm. you know like bring up this thing where, मतलब like वो culture है ही नहीं यहाँ पे. तो क्यों लेके आ रहे हो? That was my point. आज भी मैं मतलब मैं तो live गया था आज और मेरे को public पूछ रहा था भाई आप blood में blood हो कि creep हो? काफी सारा फैमिली डेवास्टेटेड हो गया था बहुत सारे लोग मर गए थे और मैं मेरे को इतना ही चाहिए की मैं ये चीज को सपोर्ट करूँ और इधर भी लोग आपस में एक दिन आके बोलेंगे मैं ब्लड हो तो क्रिप है और एक दूसरे को मारेंगे और एब्सोल्युटली सी वी हिप हॉप इज देयर टू यूनाइट पीपल इट्स नॉट देयर टू डिवाइड देम एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई वाज गोइंग टू से कि हिप हॉप एज अ जॉनर कहां से आया इट रोज आउट ऑफ ऑपरेशन देयर ब्लैक पीपल हु वर ऑपरेस्ड फॉर 200 प्लस इयर्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ स्लेवरी दे made something of their own and used this as an outlet to speak their mind and call out the injustice systemic oppression jo bolte hai usko call out karne ke liye wo log ne use kiya hai mm-hmm. us hisab se india ne to wo surface bhi scratch nahi kiya hai dekha jayega to i really wanted indian hip hop to be that uh, communication ka tool of communication and knowledge ka ek bridge jo school se aapko nahi milta hoga basically tu dekhega na toni to Uh, अपना हिस्ट्री सिविक्स का अगर तू देखेगा हिस्ट्री जो कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं वो 90 मार्क के लिए होता है और सिविक्स जिसमें पूरा का पूरा कंट्री तुम्हारा वोटिंग राइट क्योंकि स्कूल पैदा मतलब स्कूल इज द मशीन टू मेक अ इग्नोरेंट सिटीजन दैट इज द फर्स्ट इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइजेशन दैट यू गो थ्रू वेर दे आर they ask you to keep your head down and you know like focus on mm-hmm. this thing and don't look at anything else aisa to is country mein jo jab country the hi nahi apan we were all small provinces so different from each other own kingdoms all small kingdoms that's why our dance our food our language our culture is so different from each other because we were never a country we were small small provinces who got captured divided and ruled by the britishers mm-hmm. we came together to kick them out to dekha jayega to as a country hum log coexist kar rahe for less than 100 years utna hi hua hai warna and us hisab se to kya mast kiya yaar apne puri duniya ko lag raha tha ki 
कभी अपन सर्वाइव नहीं करेंगे एज अ डेमोक्रेसी क्योंकि इतने अलग है हम एक दूसरे से सबको लगता था कि अपन एग्जैक्टली exactly. सबको लगता था ऑथोरिटेरियन रूल हो जाएगा कि यू नो लाइक चाइना जैसा हो जाएगा मिलिट्री रूल हो जाएगा ऐसा इमरजेंसी uh, के बाद तो सबको डेफिनेट हो गया था कि डेमोक्रेसी तो इधर रहेगा नहीं बेसिकली बट अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑर्ड्स इंडिया हैज सर्वाइव्ड टू बी अ डेमोक्रेसी तो आई रियली वॉन्टेड हिप हॉप टू बी दैट कम्युनिकेशन का टूल टू कीप पीपल together to give that same messaging that black people have given something as easy simple as the dalit movement mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. you know in, in a way, in a way what the white man did to the black man we did it to our own people yeah who yeah. look exactly like us they mm-hmm. don't even look different than us but there is still a big systemic oppression here that nobody talks about the privileged people only do their own this thing you know basically abhi ja ke wo movement aaya hai and i think hip hop is because it's a revolutionary you know it's a discipline it's a way of living your life it gives that much level of empowerment to people to speak their thoughts to us cheez ka india mein to definitely ek waisa type ka hi revolution aana chahiye you know ki itne languages hai itne alag alag type ke community ke log hai to speak about your experience you know gather information from history from your own history jaisa abhi tak Kendrick Lamar का एक एल्बम सुनेगा तो ब्लैक हिस्ट्री के बारे में कितना कुछ पता चल जाता है अपने को राइट उसमें से कितना नॉलेज उसने गैदर करके Yes, yeah. a lot of people like you know j- just one name I'm taking, but so many of their artists continue to talk about the struggles that their generation, their third generation had. ऐसा देखा जाएगा तो only seventy years we have got freedom. Where have we talked about what Britishers did to us? right where have we talked about any of these things none of us have talked about any of these things no like and i'm not saying ki ye uh, artist ka responsibility hai ki logo ko educate karo hip hop sirf education ke liye hai aisa nahi bol rahi hu main hip hop entertainment ke liye definitely hai you know art is for people to enjoy basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but इस चीज को भी होना चाहिए लाइक इज दैट दैट्स माय ओपिनियन कि इस चीज से इंस्पिरेशन डिराइव करके आए जिस दिन अपन जिस दिन ना इंडियन सिटीजन हिप हॉप के वजह से वोट अलग तरीके से करेगा ना आई विल फील कि इंडियन हिप हॉप जीत गया है सीरियसली ऑनेस्टली वो अभी तक हुआ नहीं आई आई डोंट नो कब होगा कमर्शलाइजेशन अभी बहुत ज्यादा हो गया है अपने कल्चर का और अभी यू नो काफी इंटरनेशनल लेबल्स भी आ रहे हैं थोड़ा डिस्कनेक्टेड हो गए है ऐसा मेरे को लगता है डेफिनेटली की जो पर्पज जिस पर्पज के साथ सब लोगों ने शुरू किया था दस साल पहले पर्पज चेंज हो गया विच इज ऑल्सो फेयर बिकॉज वी आर ऑलवेज इवॉल्विंग एज आर्टिस्ट यू नो आर आर नीड्स हैव बिकम डिफरेंट नाउ लाइक माई म्यूजिक नाउ इज नॉट एट ऑल लाइक डी कोज एम सी स्क्वेयर इट्स फुल द टाइप ऑफ म्यूजिक दैट विल मेक अ फीमेल वॉन्ट टू गेट अप एंड डांस इन अप हॉप गिग यू नो एम literally in one line if i say right now i'm making music for me and my girlfriends mm-hmm. ki you know uh, in a in a lineup where there are 10 guys coming and giving their perspective in a lineup that's bot hard i want yeah. to be bot soft i want okay, to be okay. i want to be i want to be the person who brings vulnerability and feminine energy on stage and i'm bringing dance back into my life i have mm-hmm. restarted learning bharatnatyam and uh, I never could finish it. Basically, there's seven dances. Mm-hmm. I was never able to finish my Arangatham. So now I'm slowly starting to uh, started from ground zero again, and I plan to finish my Arangatham also, just for me, okay. not for anyone okay. else. Okay. You know, not to like mm-hmm. make mash up of hip hop and yeah. Bharatnatyam. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just for me. So yeah, in a way, uh, my music has seen that. curve of change also that my music is also not underground underground anymore you possibly see that change in your next ep that uh-huh. you released nasi yes it had like three tracks and it was it was different from what we heard in d is equal to mc square yep. very different so yep. let's let's talk about the nasi where yep. where then where did that change come from like because the type of artist i was listening to changed main mm-hmm. pehle full underground underground hi sun rahi thi aur abhi main full alternate hip hop space mein hu which is very much a blend of r&b jazz and hip hop mm-hmm. pehle se mosdef is one artist jo mere liye inspiration raha hai og bro from mm-hmm. like under matlab usi se mere ko samajh mein aa gaya ki 
ये मेरा वाइब है एफर्टलेसली फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम बार्स टू मेलेडीज टू बार्स अगेन टू मेलेडीज सो वो इंस्पिरेशन मेरे पास डे वन से था फ्रॉम आर्टिस्ट लाइक मॉस्डेफ कि दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू कि आई कैन ऑल्सो किल अ ओल्ड स्कूल बीट एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो सिंग इन अ नाइस जैजी वे इन यू नो सॉफ्ट आर एंड बी कैंड ऑफ अ स्पेस बेसिकली सो या इट्स लाइक अ एवोल्यूशन ऑफ माई ओन पर्सनैलिटी द काइंड ऑफ आर्टिस्ट दैट आई गॉट एक्सपोज टू एंड स्पॉटिफाई चेंज माई लाइफ यू नो लाइक द स्पॉटिफाई प्ले लिस्ट दैट यू गेट या सो getting to know so many different types of artists making different type of music it inspired me and also the kind of producers i was working with by that time um maine na tony kabhi gana ye soch ke nahi banaya hai ki audience ko kaisa lagega mm-hmm. seriously no, just upon ye cheez ke bare mein baat kar rahe the yes ki ho matlab main ye nahi bol rahi hu ki aisa approach nahi hona chahiye but maine kabhi कुछ भी ऐसा नहीं किया है जो सबने किया है मेरे मेरा हमेशा से खुद का ही था बहुत जिद्दी लड़की हूँ मैं मेरे को खुद का ही करने का रहता है बेसिकली तो म्यूजिक भी मैं खुद के लिए बना रही हूँ ऑनेस्टली एंड अब भी मैं मेरे और मेरे गर्ल फ्रेंड्स के लिए बना रही हूँ तो जो कनेक्ट करेगा वो कनेक्ट करेगा इट्स लाइक दैट आई विल नेवर गो आउट ऑफ माई वे टू मेक अ सॉन्ग थिंकिंग की दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑडियंस विल लाइक दिस सो लेट मी मेक दिस टाइप ऑफ अ सॉन्ग नसीब इज that way so different from whatever i have ever done you know it was fully experimental it was not as well received as d equals mc square mm-hmm. because d equals mc square had so much bars and it had yeah. aggression they like the like, audience not to forget but it, it also had a great lineup of collaborations 100% like the evil poetic uh-huh. justice mc alta sense and all these guys yes. like they also smashed it in the album 100% and, 100% but i think like मेरे से कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशन मत रखो मेरे को बार बार आके बोलो मत हिंदी में कर मेरे को बार बार आके बोलो मत की अग्रेसिव रैप करो यू नो लाइक लड़कों के जैसा रैप करो मेरे से मत एक्सपेक्ट करो कुछ भी जो भी मैं दे रही हूँ जिसको सुनने का सुनो इट वॉज लाइक and everyone slowly they shifted into a like from english to hindi they shifted like very slowly yeah. but uh, then then your next album mmm money made maniac this this album had a very fresh approach this yeah. is not the d i have been listening to yep. and i can listen to that yeah. and like tell me how how did that happen again like, my experimental new, phase the new d Yeah, it's actually not the new D anymore. It's somewhere in between the new D, which will be will be coming in one or two years, this year and next year, mm-hmm. and D goes in C square. So it's like a transition. Ke beech mein ka perfect this thing ki bars bhi hai aur mm-hmm. melody bhi hai basically. Mm-hmm. So uh, I originally wanted to make a short film for that EP. So the entire EP has a storyline in it, mm-hmm. in which um, but because of pandemic that. it didn't work out that way and i didn't want to keep it for later like because most of the videos were just visualizations yes. that we saw and yes. i think you came up with uh, one video for what am i to you yes yeah yeah so the thought was to actually make a entire 15 minute short film mm-hmm. and um pura matlab mere na it's basically mmm is actually an alter ego talking about things that dmc will not talk about mm-hmm. it's a mm-hmm. alter ego that i took up to it's like a fictional character fictional character yes it is a fictional character in a way ki um the song loot le kind of made put everything together mm-hmm. me and sahir worked on that song and uh, he just said ki apan aisa kuch gana banate jisme ek mall ke andar matlab uh, chori ho raha hai aisa ki loot le matlab हाँ ऐसा कि चोरी हो रहा है ऐसा वाला उसने कुछ सोचा मतलब उसने बस ऐसे उसने बीट सुना और उसको इमीडिएटली वो कोरस आया जो भी देखा जाके लूट ले शॉर्ट गन तभी तक मैंने एक ही गाना लिखा था पहला वाला गाना वॉटर माई टी यू मैंने लिखा था ऑर्डर भी मैंने चूज नहीं किया था कि कौन सा कैसा रहेगा बेलाबियो इज अ आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम फ्रांस द प्रोड्यूसर हु गेव द ट्रैक्स फॉर दोज फोर सॉन्ग्स आई मेट हिम थ्रू आर एफ बी बॉय फ्लाइंग मशीन एंड ही सेंट मी फोर बीट्स टू ऑफ दैम वर चिल बीट्स एंड टू ऑफ दैम वर ट्रैप बीट्स तो मैंने और वो टाइम पे लूटले 
हमारा बन रहा था तो इट काइंड ऑफ गेव मी लाइक एन आइडिया कि लेट मी मेक ऐसा कुछ दिस थिंग लाइक लूटले फुली गेव मी दैट दिस थिंग कि एक लड़की का मेरे को स्टोरी बताने का है जो फर्स्ट गाने में देख के लगेगा कि ब्रेकअप हुआ है कुछ भी नहीं है एक शादी सी लड़की है वो तो दैट वॉज वॉट एम आई टू फुल सैड ब्रेकअप सॉन्ग एंड लूटले में यू गेट टू नो कि शी इज एक्चुअली अ पार्ट ऑफ अ रॉबरी गैंग what am i doing because in that video was visually it was great Thank you. and we could see some acting skills from dmc <laughs> in that video yes yeah so it was there was some emotion we can see you act and bring out emotion out in the not only in the music but also in the video you know so yeah. it was kind of interesting for me to watch yeah. that video mere mein hai ek actor wala focus hai wala like अच्छा लगता है मेरे को कैमरा एंड यू नो लाइक आई फील एट होम इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा एंड आई मतलब मजा आता है ब्रो मेरे को लाइक फक कैमरा के सामने रहने का तुम अपने को तो म्यूजिक वीडियोस में देख के अपना यू नो स्प्लिट पर्सनालिटी देख जाता है but in this video i could see a emotion of a girl yes who's gone through something in her life and is trying to come out of that shit yes. trying to bring her back and that kind of feeling that is what i could like visually see yeah, in that yeah, yeah. video yep that is this alter ego if i was like you know whatever if pandemic didn't happen i had to release this ep kyunki wo outdated ho jata as a song mm-hmm. kyunki exactly. i had already made so many songs jo main abhi you know like i'm sharing with the audience that it's fully different from whatever i've done so if i kept this ep for later it would have made no sense in the evolution yeah. of my music mm-hmm. that's why i had to just release it like a lyric this thing at that time uh, otherwise the whole story would have made sense ki how this girl you would assume that she's just a heartbroken girl but in lootle you see that she's part of a robbery gang mm-hmm. and they are mm-hmm. looting a mall mm-hmm. and they, they are telling mera pura verse bhi waise hai jitna mela aise zyada noch le paisa oda have mai aaja kood le you know mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's like visually ye soch ke kiya tha ki hum it's the whole ep is trying to show human nature ki money can make a maniac out of you mm-hmm. and if you let money Uh, rule your world it will it is the root of all evil if you let it be the root of you, your your existence in a way you know so ki um ek human ka true nature agar purge day de diya ye bol ke ki koi consequences nahi hoega tum ja ke loot lo jo bhi lootne gaye to kya karega aadmi wo tha wo gana basically ki uh, in a, the story was ki hum log कमोशन कॉज कर रहे हैं लोगों को हम लोग ने कैप्चर कर लिया है मॉल और हम लोगों को बोल रहे हैं कि तुम लोग लूट लो जो भी चाहिए mm-hmm. तो लोग पागल हो गए पूरा हर एक स्टोर में जाके चोरी कर रहे हैं और उसके बीच में हम लोग अपना पैसा लेके निकल जाते हैं वहाँ से जो मनी हाइस्ट जैसा टाइप का दिस थिंग कि द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट वॉज नॉट लूटिंग द मॉल मेन कॉन्सेप्ट वॉज क्रिएटिंग अ डिस्ट्रैक्शन यूजिंग पीपल एंड शोइंग द नेचर ऑफ ह्यूमन्स की अगर दे दिया फ्री चिट कि यू नो People will go nuts. Yes, man. yes. Basically, he, you know, uh, if I gave you a clean shit, then what would you say? That was the whole mm-hmm. vibe mm-hmm. of that this thing. Ki you go and loot whatever you want, and she gets money. Third song is me and Meba spending that money. That's that song. Ki you know, abhi mere pas pate paisa aa gaya. The character that I'm talking oh, about. Oh, look, look at me now. Right? Yes, look at me now. Yeah. So the character at this time in the story has got a lot of money from this lootle song, and she's spending that with her girlfriend. The first song co connect करते हुए कि she's heartbroken, she made money, now she's spending that money and having fun. But the fourth song is basically कि कितना भी पैसा तू कमा ले, जब तक तू अपना दिमागी संतुलन ठीक नहीं करेगा, you cannot fix the hole that you have in your heart and your mm-hmm. brain mm-hmm. with money. that's yeah. the whole yeah. idea so the fourth song is written from the perspective perspective of being in a car if you listen to it from that perspective that it's a car drifting in mm-hmm. a muddy mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. thing and mm-hmm. the character is like fear and loathing in las vegas naam ka ek movie hai johnny depp yes, yes, yes of course of yeah. course yeah. ladies and gentlemen yeah. you're talking to dope and eric shop and you forget that <laughs> <laughs> yes right so now when you go back and listen to that song you'll get an idea of where i'm coming from okay, okay. it's full like the character is in the front seat and she's gone crazy she has no value for money anymore mm-hmm. she doesn't have any value for anything she's burning money she's eating money throwing money she's high as fuck and like you know drifting in okay, that car okay. so 
या पैसे की लाइक यू नो दैट्स व्हाट द सॉन्ग इज पैसे की खुशबू में एज ई डूबी में लाइक पूरा घमंडी गाना है वो कि यू नो इन द एंड आल्सो आई एम एंडिंग दैट सॉन्ग दैट इज एक्चुअली लाइक अ एम्पावरिंग मैसेज टू वुमेन लाइक फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम वाला दिस थिंग कि यू थिंकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू मेक मनी आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट हाउ माय मनी मेक्स मनी या सो आई आई रियली लाइक दैट लाइन या सो मनी मेड इवन दो आई एम अ मनी मेड मेनियाक ओनली इन दैट कैरेक्टर एक पॉजिटिव कुछ भी पॉजिटिव नहीं था ये ईपी में जो मेरा रहा है अभी तक हर एक इसमें ईसी वाज फन इट वाज फ्यूचरिस्टिक फॉर मी एंड इट हैड अ डिफरेंट लुक ऑफ हाउ आई लुक्ड एट डीएमसीज रैप हाउ इट कुड बी एंड बट दिस दिस थिंग गिव मी अ होल डिफरेंट वाइब यू नो आई थिंक इट आल्सो कनेक्ट्स विद द आर जनरेशन एंड इट आल्सो कनेक्ट्स विद द कमिंग अप जनरेशन दे आर म्यूजिक इट सिंग्स मैन एंड आई थिंक इट समटाइम्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू वर्क विद द ट्रेंड एंड डू समथिंग समथिंग किक ऐस दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट आई फील इन द सीपी Yeah, definitely. And again, it was more about uh, doing something artistically out of the box because मेरे लिए movies, मेरे लिए cinema बहुत important है मेरा English better हुआ है TV shows देख के English shows देख के for the transition of needing subtitles to not needing subtitles anymore. That's yeah. where I वेल अब था इंग्लिश स्कूल से सब बट जो फ्लुएंसी है जो लिंगो है जो एक यू नो कॉन्फिडेंस है ऑफ रैप में जो चाहिए फास्ट पेस दिस थे वो पूरा मेरे को अमेरिकन कल्चर कंज्यूम करके मिला है बेसिकली वो मुझे लेके आने का था एक शॉर्ट फिल्म मेरे को बनाने का EPs and albums to some of my favorite top picks of your songs, mm-hmm. and which you have released as a single. Mm-hmm. Now, first one goes to the run. Uh-huh. So let's talk about that because the video. I've seen the video. You have your uh, niece in that video. You have a lot of girls in that video. It's like a proper girl gang kind of thing, and it represents the color of our Indian women. It's not only like we don't have only the fair women in our. country but there yep. are so many beautiful brown ladies yep. who are there who are who proudly flaunt their skin and they are proud of their skin color you know so i think run was that kind of representation of all these girls so mm-hmm. how 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 did that thing come to your mind so run is a part of my album d equals mc square and this cinema thing that i was talking about it was the first time i got to uh, bring the director side out in me I directed mm-hmm. that video for okay. Nika for Women's Day, uh, and वो गाना जब मैंने लिखा था ना वो टाइम पे एक्चुअली मेरा ना टोनी मेरा सॉन्ग राइटिंग का पूरा प्रोसेस ना वीडियो ऑलरेडी मेरे दिमाग में रहता है mm-hmm. जब मैं लिख रही थी मेरे को तब भी दिखता है विजुअली कैसा दिखता है Likewise, likewise. Yeah, right. Yeah. So रंग भी वैसा ही था कि मेरे को ट्रांजेक्शन दिखाने का था मेरा बचपन का और मेरे को मालूम था कि मेरे नीसेस को मैं यूज कर सकती हूँ मेरी बहन की सगी बहन की बेटी और मेरी कजिन की बेटी दोनों है उसमें शोइंग द बचपन का मी एंड द बिगर मी एंड देन ऑल दी अदर वीमेन दैट आर फीचर इन दैट वीडियो सो या द होल मैसेजिंग वॉज एट दैट टाइम डी कोज एंड सी स्क्वायर द एंटायर एल्बम हैड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग मैसेजेस लाइक सोशल रिलेटेड मैसेजेस यू नो कि I mean, like you and I both must have, you know, personally gone through shit like this in a country that is literally black as fuck. Like the actor will be black as fuck, <laughs> but the, but the actress is... has to be like moon jitni. Upon upon South India, yeah, yeah. You have to know that you know. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
अगेन साउंड इंजीनियर वाला वाइब जो सुनित का एक पर्टिकुलर वाइब था म्यूजिक बनाने का तो उसमें मैं वैसा टाइप का वो वो मेरे लिए वो टाइम पे परफेक्ट था एक इंडियन सुनित का हर एक बीट इज अ हिप हॉप ओल्ड स्कूल हिप हॉप जिसमें इंडियन एलिमेंट्स को फ्यूज किया है उसने आकाश का पूरा एलिमेंट इज जैज एंड यू नो आर एंड बी वाला स्पेस वेर इट्स सॉफ्ट रैप इट डजेंट नेसेसरी देर वॉज वेराइटी इन दैट एल्बम म्यूजिक भेज के मेरे को बोला की आई थिंक दिस वाइफ विल बी you know good for you basically and immediately naturally it came the entire the tone that i wanted everything it mm-hmm. was the turning point of dmc and autotune merging mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. each other uske pehle ka was full raw vocals processed vocals nahi tha underground vocal type tha sab kuch but other they gave me like that uh, space to also because majorly because of akash you know apna pura infrastructure aisa hai ki ऑटोट्यून लेट आया है यहाँ पे आर्ट इंजीनियर्स हु नो वॉट टू डू विद ऑटोट्यून बहुत कम थे टिल दैट टाइम राइट अपना पूरा जो मिक्स मास्टर का अपना प्रोसेस था आकाश ने जो इनिशियटिव लिया है ना दैट इज लाइक वेरी कमेंडेबल यू नो कि उसने कौन दूसरा प्रोड्यूसर कर पाया है अभी तक कि इतने सारे आर्टिस्ट को बना के सोलह गाने बनाए ब्रो उसने mm-hmm. कितने महीने में तीन या चार महीने में उसने सोलह गाने बनाए मिक्स मास्टर करके उसको रिलीज किया इतने सारे लोगों के साथ कोऑर्डिनेट करना हर एक जन को उसके हिसाब से बीट देना mm-hmm. तो आदत है वॉज वेरी मच आकाश बॉर्डर आउट ऑफ मी यू नो बेस्ट it connects that music connects the it, it has a soul i would say in a yeah. way i was blown away the mm-hmm. way i sounded mm-hmm. the way he mm-hmm. made me sound you know like fuck mere ko aisa feel ye ho gaya ki yehi to mere ko karna tha koi mere ko kar main kar nahi pa rahi thi ye koi aur producer ke well, sath actually in, in in when i was actually preparing for this podcast and everything even my friends was oh okay did you put adate in the top 5 picks because <laughs> we like we also like that song Yeah. I was like, okay, bro. Of course, I'm gonna put that track, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we're gonna speak about that. But yeah. uh, it's good you gave me some grain on the track, and yep. how it was. Shouts out, man, to Akash. Yeah, bro. Shout gang, out, gang. shout out, bro. Akash Kai, like that. Hey, Akash Kai. Milo, kabi. Gym me, Akash. Talking about this next track, I don't know. Should I speak about this? But I have to speak about this. Ati, mera saathi. <laughs> How how did this idea come to your mind? Because when we looked at the poster, I was like, "B, what is happening? B, you're, just, you're just giving some good music, and all of this sudden, you know, it was crazy for us yeah. because yeah, uh, <laughs> like I'm happy still you gave it. Otherwise, कोई लड़का रहता तो बोलता था अपना आप जगन्नाथ एंड इट पूरा बिन crazy. Bro, I cannot take that. I would I would take this rather than that. <laughs> Actually, that that was like in a way, you no know, Tony. मेरे लिए ये जो वो वो कॉन्वर्जेशन वापस यहाँ पे आता है कि मेरा ब्रेन कैसा हो गया था बीइंग सराउंडेड बाय बॉयज ऑल द टाइम तो पूरा टाइम वैसा ही मेरा थॉट्स चलता था इन अ वे वेयर आई वाज सिटिंग इन इंडिया नॉट जजिंग बट लाइक नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद द ओपन सेक्शुअलिटी आर्टिस्ट लाइक निकी मिनाज वर पुटिंग इन माई फेस आई वॉज चूजिंग टू लिसन टू हर सॉन्ग विच कनेक्टेड टू मी ऑन अ हिप हॉप लेवल मोर देन लाइक ऑनेस्टली हर एल्बम पिंक प्रिंट इज द सोशल एक्सपेरिमेंट किया है ब्रो वो औरत ने कि वो एल्बम में एनाकोंडा और ओनली और ऐसे एक दो कमर्शियल गाने डाले बाकी सब म्यूजिकल लेवल का गाना उसने किया है जो निकी मिनाज से नहीं एक्सपेक्ट करता है कोई एंड उसने ना प्रूव कर दिया है कि मेरी गलती नहीं है मैं नहीं कर रही हूँ मैं दे रही हूँ तुम लोगों को दूसरा टाइप का गाना भी तुमको ही आके मेरा एस देखना है तुमको ही आके मेरा बूब्स देखना है तुमने ही आके आना को सबसे फेमस गाना बनाया है उस एल्बम में और भी दस गाने हैं जो एकदम अच्छे अलग ही टाइप के मैसेजिंग के एल्बम है गाने हैं बट वो इतना हिट नहीं हुआ आनाकोंडा जैसा तो वो मेरे को भी यू you नो know, एक जो कंडीशनिंग बोलते हैं ना इंडियन औरत का ब्रेन जैसा कंडीशन है कि 
ढक के रखो अपने आप को छुपा के रखो अपने आप को अपना सेक्शुअलिटी एक्सेप्ट mm-hmm. करने को मेरे को टाइम लगा रो सीरियसली द मोर आई ग्रो एज एन आर्टिस्ट हाउ ओल्ड वॉज आई हाथी मेरा साथी केम आउट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी राइट या सो आई वॉज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड आई स्टार्टेड जस्ट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट साइड ऑफ मी दैट आई एम अ ह्यूमन बींग हु लाइक्स हैविंग सेक्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक अबाउट सेक्स दैट परस्पेक्टिव ओनली केम वेन आई बिकेम ट्वेंटी फाइव Mm-hmm, like, you know mm-hmm. uh, when i became a little bit mature and i felt like now i feel like i can talk about this from a space of empowerment mm-hmm, mm-hmm. again never made anything for cloud never made anything for anyone else you just did it for yourself for we truly believe that for myself you know mm-hmm. so that song is about a female claiming her own sexuality like claiming ownership to her power in a way where um for generations men have talked about women's body and made songs mm-hmm. but when women talk about women's bodies it's too much for people i think we people need to accept that also it's too much for people they are like why is cardi b and nicki minaj always putting their ass and titties in our face why the fuck not bunch of other rappers have you know models and putting their ass and titties in your face that mm-hmm. is okay with you but when a female is doing it it's too much for you right so hathi mera sathi is the beginning of there will be songs like that that is also like a alter ego space like of mine after after that song came out i literally felt like now women are coming to claim the claim yeah. for their throne yeah. and that is the feeling i get when i saw rani cipher uh-huh. like not one but there is a couple of them yeah. like raju kumari meba ophelia and siri and all of this come it's like some empress kind uh-huh. of shit <laughs> some all the queens of india come together to fucking like now boys get side give mm-hmm. the throne to us we'll take care of it <laughs> yeah. so it was that track was like that so nahi matlab aisa nahi boys side tum raho hum apna lane banayenge hum alag of course of course of course <laughs> and thrones banayenge multiple thrones kuch mm-hmm. ek nahi hai koi competition nahi hai ki ek hi reh sakta hai you know we can all coexist with each other it was a very empowering experience because before that every cipher was used to have like at least one girl or something like that but it right. used to be majority of the boys but this yeah. is that girl cipher coming in and then you also released the track with wild wild women yes. and everything so i we can see probably see a movement over here that the the female hip hop is now coming like not only the i'm like i'm not still not talking about the rappers but there's a lot of b girls beatboxers yeah, yeah. djs yes. that i have met through the course of hip hop that i have been who are trying to represent themselves represent the hip hop in themselves like at at us at certain point at somewhere you know yep. so that really it is coming into the look right now i can yeah. i can observe that that is happening in the society majorly the audience bad gayi hai na bro mm-hmm. audience hi nahi thi apne paas kitne ladke log aate the gigs mein right bro तू ही था एक जन में वही बोल रहा हूँ अभी ऑडियंस में भी एक ही लड़की था तो स्टेज में भी एक ही लड़की था अभी वैसा सीन था बट नाउ वी कैन लिटरली सी अ लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स ऑन द स्टेज एज वेल एज लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स हु कम टू सपोर्ट हिप हॉप एंड अदर आर्टिस्ट ऑल्सो ब्यूटिफुल दैट इज एवरीथिंग फॉर मी एंड दैट इज द टाइप ऑफ म्यूजिक दैट आई एम मेकिंग नाउ एवरी टाइम आई गेट ऑन स्टेज आई कैन सी द वुमेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी द वॉट माई म्यूजिक इज डूइंग टू दैम यू नो सो इट्स लिटरली मी टॉकिंग टू दैम दैट दिस इज फॉर यू it's not for anyone else it's for us creating our own safe space in a male dominated space where we felt the need to matlab wo subconsciously hua to nahi hum log ne consciously bhi nahi kiya wo something as simple as me meba and siri never being in touch with each other never mm-hmm. having collaborated mm-hmm. before why because we were all surrounded by boys all the time yeah. we could never uh, we didn't have we were also young so you know wo ek मेचोरिटी नहीं था हमें टू सी वॉट दिस इज डूइंग टू अस ऑन अ सबकॉन्शियस लेवल की वी हैव मेड द फेमिन एनर्जी इन अस गो टू स्लीप है ही नहीं एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं किया अपना फेमिन एनर्जी को लाया ही नहीं है बाहर वॉट मेक्स इज यूनिक वो अपने आर्ट में लाया ही नहीं हम लोग ने आई थिंक आई स्टार्ट डूइंग दैट ओनली फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी claiming ownership mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. my identity basically of course you, i think you need it but uh, the next track i'm going to talk about it's about the deepa unni krishnan because i could see a glimpse of deepa unni krishnan because i saw you making moves with guru randava and anirudh uh-huh. and so this thing for the swipe right you did for tender mm-hmm. i could literally see you 
more like break a leg with all these guys and uh-huh. bringing that older Deepa Unni Krishnan out of you, you know, yeah. just not being DMC and just doing the verses in the track, mm-hmm. but you also were dancing with with them, and it was a fun fun track. Yep. So like, how how was that experience with these artists? It was sick, bro. Anirudh like, is one of my favorite, and yeah, yeah. he he will be. And yeah. Guru Randhawa also, he's also yeah. a big big name in the yeah. north uh, industry. Definitely. So uh, how was the whole those experience? Campaign was very much about inclusivity and very much about uh, promoting the LGBTQ movement. So the gist given to us was about all love is love. Mm-hmm. You know that was the message we were trying to put out with that song, and that key again, all love is love. So self love is the first love. Mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. you don't love yourself you can't love anyone else exactly so that was the message behind that this thing ki first you have to believe yourself that you are a swipe right material mm-hmm, only then mm-hmm. someone else will see that worth in you so the song was very much of that vibe and getting to meet them getting to work with them is amazing experience like it's been like coming up now you're like featuring with a lot of brands you were on the cover of grazia mm-hmm. and then you were on the cover of bazaar with a more couple of girls like uh, tribe mama and all these girls yes. so like being on the cover being on the billboard like it is a different feeling where your music is taking you yep. like well, at a point of time you didn't have any direction that w- what i'm doing and where is go- this going to take me mm-hmm. but this is now taking you each and every place and it's finding every opportunity and it's going and banging it 100% yeah ye brown skin wala jo tu bol raha tha na mere liye mia ka jo poster hai ek brown ladki ka itna bada shakal dekhna surely surely i uh, we are yeah. going to come to that section section but uh, before that we have to talk about this one song d mm-hmm. which hits really hard to any viewer who is watching it for the first time that is wadaya mm-hmm. so i think that marks you as one of the great artists to come with a great content mm-hmm. which people need to listen to yeah so like the video the visuals and everything it's like proper and it's done very nicely yeah so but i still want to want to talk about the lyrics you bought that purana dmc that socio type outside in this track and it really hit hard so talk to me about that so vadhaiya is also part of deco's mc square mm-hmm. and i think these two songs i just really wanted to make a video for it it didn't matter that the album came out you you know 2 years ago it didn't matter i wanted to do the video still because of the messaging like you said i wanted this to be in the history of indian hip hop in terms of visual representation mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. when i was writing the song i knew what video i wanted for this basically so the team that helped me pull it off also ki director wanted to try to uh, give extra message in that but i told him no whatever i am saying convert that into mm-hmm, visuals mm-hmm. ki jo lyrics mein bol rahi hu wohi dikhao extra agar dene messages dene jaate to log confuse ho gaye hote hai so in a way the visuals are just spoon feeding whatever my lyrics is saying mm-hmm. right so the this is the pinnacle this is like the prime example of what i mean when when i say ki mujhe social message dena hai but in a sarcastic way in mm-hmm. a satire wala way ki uh the first half of the song is basically saying ki sab log ek tarike ka cheez kar rahe hain tum mere ko bol rahe ho ki waise hi karo to main tumko deti hu badhaiyan hazar apna mm-hmm, opinion mm-hmm, apne paas mm-hmm. rakho aisa yeah, yeah. Ki, you know uh, sab log ek jaise kar rahe hain main wo tra- chalti hai gaadi tu iska hi saath basically ki you know ki yahi karo safe hai you know like uh, na, it, bade bade khwab mat dekho jaisa sab log kar rahe hain waise hi karo to it was basically a sarcastic badhaiyan to people ki apna opinion apne paas rakho second half was me talking to the women of this country saying ki hamara identity kya hai bachpan mein papa ka surname rehta hai shaadi karne ke baad kisi aur ka surname rehta hai mm-hmm. khud ka koi identity hai hi nahi to wo create karna humko hi karna padega aur ek dusre ko humko hi motivate karna padega mm-hmm. so the song ended up being ki if this song made you feel anything made you want to speak up your mind or you know just whatever just even if it brought out some emotion out of you i will give myself a thousand thanks because that's what i'm making music for you know as like i i really believe that i've been put on this earth as one of the biggest purpose is to bridge the gra- gap of inequality in any capacity possible basically and earlier on that was more of a aggressive approach ki um revolution ke tarike se change leke aao now it's more of a soft feminine uh, yeah. vulnerability ko accept karo ki main ek ladki hu to main mera ladki wale side ko abhi 
पूरा यू नो लाइक फुल्ली मैं एक्सेप्ट करना चाहती हूँ आई लव माई बॉडी आई लव द वे आई लुक यू नो आई लव हैविंग इंडिपेंडेंस इन माई लाइफ सो राइट नाउ माई म्यूजिक इज वेरी मच अबाउट एम्पावरिंग वीमेन फ्रॉम दैट स्पेस दैट वी नो वी आर इन अ कंट्री दैट्स फैक्ट अप वी नो दैट देर इज क्राइम अगेंस्ट वीमेन ऑल द टाइम बट वी आर स्टिल एम्पावर्ड we are still living our best damn life without mm-hmm. anybody's help that's the kind of zone that i'm in right now so vadhaiya jaise gaane probably aur nahi aayenge because uh, come on the you yeah. may not do this kyunki main abhi gussa nahi hu okay okay kisi se okay we can we can see you chilled up or like this but uh, <laughs> see if probably i ask some male rappers who's your favorite rapper this is going to be park or biggie jay z nas and all these guys but who's that Femsi, who is like a park and biggie to you, and who are the femsis that you looked up to when you were starting up? It was definitely Nicki Minaj more than anyone else. Mm-hmm. But like again, they uska bhi mere ko pura accept karne ke liye tabhi main accept kar paayi jab mera brain develop hua. Jab main ek young impressionable ladki nahi thi, I become I became a self empowered woman. Is when I could see the entire power of what she did, you know, like the claiming your sexuality, what mm-hmm, she did mm-hmm. at that time in a male-dominated space, and being absolutely unapologetic about it, basically, you know. Uh, apart from her, I have done a lot of deep dive on the internet because it was not for me. I mean, it was not for me. थी लॉरेन हिल थी एंड यू नो लाइक बंच ऑफ़ अदर राड एगा मिसी एलियट ऑल दिस पीपल बट अगेन द ज़ोन वाज वेरी ओल्ड स्कूल फॉर मी एंड निकी मिनाज वाज वे टू कमर्शियल फॉर मी समटाइम्स या सो टू फाइंड रिलेटेबिलिटी फॉर मी कि व्हाट डज अ 2012 फीमेल साउंड लाइक राइट सो आई हैड टू गो टू यूट्यूब आई वाज टेकिंग सॉन्ग्स फ्रॉम एवरीवन अपना कम्युनिटी में जब मैं शुरू किया तो मैं सबका एल्बम फोल्डर अब पेनड्राइव का जमाना तो सबका पेनड्राइव से मैं सीडी पेनड्राइव जो मिला उसमें कॉपी करके लो फोल्डर्स कॉपी करके मैं सुन रही हूं सब अगर 100 सॉन्ग्स है तो 95 सॉन्ग्स आर मेन एंड 5 सॉन्ग्स आर ऐसा एकदम ही ओल्ड स्कूल वाला जो ईव ईव वाज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इंस्पिरेशन फॉर मी एट दैट टाइम बट मेरे लिए रिलेटेबिलिटी नहीं था ओल्ड था उटडेटेड नहीं बोलूंगी बट मेरे लिए पूरा कनेक्शन उधर जो हो रहा है इधर हो रहा है वो दोनों एक अलग ही टाइम पीरियड में उन लोग चालू है अपना यू के बट हु आर योर फेवरेट गर्ल्स राइट नाउ इन इंडिया Who's killing it in the scene? India, to man, obviously I already given them a shout out. Siri, Meba, Y Y Women, these mm-hmm. are like the most closest that I feel. And then there are newcomers as well, like Fanny Fina, Shia, mm-hmm. and uh, personally, utna zada or vernacular ladkiyon ko maine suna nahi hai abhi tak. And of course, the show MTV se jo aaya hai, Shushti and Arya, both of them have a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but mere liye to matlab uh, uh, mere generation. ऑफर For an artist who is ready to give everything, you know, yeah. who's give to ready to give the hundred percent for hip hop and represent themselves, represent the woman in the industry and everything. So moving on to the next part, I want to say like from the first time I sh- uh, saw you as a nerdy girl with the specs and everything, now I see you on only on billboards. Okay, <laughs> so it, it's a very different thing that you have involves evolved so much in in terms of fashion. Like talking your collaboration with Nike, your collaboration with Vogue and Converse, your collaboration with Puma, and the biggest Mia by Tanishq, and you were all around Mumbai in that big billboard, uh, flexing that Mia jewelry and everything. You also on their video. So, how wh- what do you have to say about the fashion that you have evolved for yourself? मेरे लिए ना मतलब ये भी मैंने खुद के पेस पे किया. क्योंकि मेरे को इरिटेट होता था कि मेरे से एक्सपेक्ट करते कि मैं अच्छे से रेडी होके आऊँ और लड़के लोग 
जो साबुन से हाथ धोया वही साबुन से ये यू नो यू नो दैट यू नो दैट कम ऑन सीधा यू नो लाइक बेसिकली एफर्ट ज्यादा एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे लोग मुझसे जो मुझे नहीं करने का था एनी anyway, जो मुझसे एक्सपेक्टेड था वो मैंने कभी किया नहीं है सो so, मैंने खुद की पेस पे किया वो भी यू के वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम वेर आई फेल्ट लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू यू नो चेंज माई वॉट ड्रो बन आई कट माई हेयर दिस शॉर्ट एंड सिंस देन आई एक्चुअली हैवन इवन कट माई हेयर सिंस टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन फैशन वाइज आई रियली वॉन्ट गिव अ शार्ट आउट टू टी जे सिंस द टाइम आई स्टार्ट कोलेबरेटिंग विथ हर फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वी हैव बिन कस्टम मेकिंग all of my clothes that you see in music videos all the clothes that you saw saw on mtv hustle like 60% of the clothes we made it like kapda choose karke we have tailor made so it's not any luxury brand or no. any streetwear or no. anything it's just like any, bro, bro, customized bro. made to fit yep. only for the one on one yeah pretty much i have never been about materialism ki meko brands ka ulta jo bhi tune association bola mere paas har ek joote mile hue joote the खरीदा मैंने अभी लास्ट ईयर पहली बार नाइकी खरीदा मैंने वरना नाइकी मैंने खरीदा भी नहीं था ब्रो बिकॉज इट डजेंट मैटर ओनली टू मी फॉर मी एक्चुअली आई रिलेट मोर टू अ ब्रांड लाइक कॉन्वर्स दैन नाइकी बिकॉज इट स्पीक्स टू मी इन अ डिफरेंट स्ट्रीट काइंड ऑफ अ वे ऑनस्ट लाइक अ टॉम बॉय वाला जोन जो मेरा है सो फैशन फॉर मी अगेन very much in my own pace and how my femininity you know increased how my feminine energy i started accepting it more and more i like doing it more you know like i started liking getting ready makeup wagera maine kharida bhi nahi tha before 2017 uk jane ke pehle first time i bought makeup basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and khud se you know like jitna bhi kiya hai basically so yeah fashion also happened on my own pace mia was definitely a highlight for me in 2022 be you know like having my having a brown skin girl's face like that on a big ass billboard all across that, india that that was very yeah. great watching that on over there and like it's it also gives you some kind of goosebumps when you see a person who you actually know mm-hmm. and you know it from uh, so long years and you finally see this girl on that big billboard like ah uh, okay it it's very back good back also which was like wow 2022 mai abhi bhi digest kar rahi hu क्या क्या हुआ अमेरिका एम टी वी हसल का बिल बोर्ड ये बिल बोर्ड ऑल द ब्रांड कोलेब्रेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज द बिगेस्ट करियर वाइज फॉर मी द ईयर उसका मैं अभी तक डाइजेस्ट कर रही हूँ यू नो लाइक सक्सेस जो भी आया है इन वे सो वो वो मेरे लिए ना बहुत ही वैलिडेशन वाला था एक्सपीरियंस कि एम टी वी वाले इसमें आई वो स्टिल शेयरिंग द बिल बोर्ड विद फोर अदर मैन या And but then, this was just you on yes. the billboard just you and nothing oh, else it's a thought aaya mere dimag mein not from a place of uh, competition or anything but aise ki like char ladke log hai main hi hu again mm-hmm. akeli ek ladki hu billboard pe and then do hafte ke andar pura universe was like le le tera akele ka thopda ho raha cool. is raha wala so it was amazing man like man like look, looking forward we can only expect seeing you walking some ramp or something like that वो वो वाले शूट में तेरे को दिख we have a song coming out so you asked me about my inspirations in women i had deep dived into youtube in 2012 and searched at least 10 underground american uh, female artists jo mere ko relatable lag raha tha usme se ek ko main mil payi hu gavlin in mm-hmm. the show in belgium yeah. and gavlin's friend revery is somebody i got to collaborate with in my us trip mm-hmm. so me and revery ended up making a song shooting the video writing it recording it shooting the video everything in 3 hours okay in, in LA. okay uh la mein wo aa rahi but is this in uh, english or hindi or it's something mixed. mera it's mixed hai matlab okay. mera thoda sa hindi english hai, and hindi mixed but majorly it's english her part is fully english obviously so um it is it is more for an international audience than just for indian hip hop audience mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's a it's my first international you know like a collaboration so this way. this episode also we specially wanted to do with you because uh the women's day is coming and yeah. i wanted to celebrate the women in hip hop yeah because uh i think they have seen a lot and they have also struggled a lot to be at the place they are right yeah. now so so listening to this i know deepa you are coming from a 
केरलाइट बैकग्राउंड गॉड्स ओन कंट्री कम ऑन कोकोनट ट्रीज and so where where is the mallu bars where is the mallu collaborations when is that happening It's talk happening. to me about It's that happening this year i have already started ideating i have bunch of mera notepad section mein randomly jo bhi bars aata hai wo maine likh ke rakha hai when is that id boli shit coming out where in where in where in yeah i am very 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 excited about it because as an artist mere ko ek naya audience chahiye Honestly, mm-hmm. I want to be able to speak my mind in my mother tongue to a new audience because mm-hmm. I have, in a way, this is not for validation, but I want unconditional love mm-hmm. in a way because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I have seen, like you said, जब तू वर्नाटलर लैंग्वेज में करता है वो जो एक unconditional love मिलता है मेरे हर एक international trip में भी वही evident था कि जब मैं हिंदी में कर रही हूँ तो जिस हिसाब का reaction मिलता है versus English में जब मैं कर रही हूँ तो जिस हिसाब का रिएक्शन मिलता है लोगों को अच्छा लगता है वेन पीपल डू इट इन एयर ओन लैंग्वेज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बी एबल टू स्पीक टू माई मलू सिस्टर्स उनको पसंद नहीं है मल्लू बोलेगा तो माई मलयालम सिस्टर्स एंड मलयालम ब्रदर्स आई एम सॉरी टू ऑफ इट या या आई एम मैक्स एक्साइटेड अबाउट दैट एंड मार्च 8 ऑन वुमेंस डे ओनली आई एम ड्रॉपिंग द ट्रैक विद रेवरी सो या दिस गाइस प्लीज गो चेक इट आउट शेयर इट एंड स्प्रेड इट आउट एलए टू बॉम्बे यू नो दी इज मेकिंग इट एंड प्लीज गो एंड सपोर्ट हर दी वी आर कमिंग टू अ वेरी टफेस्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ आवर podcast it's going to be a rapid fire round okay. you have you have to be very quick mm-hmm. on this you know okay Try so again. let's start without any wasting any time okay the first question mumbai or delhi mumbai oh yeah i <laughs> okay old school or new school uh, new school okay abhi, okay abhi, abhi. okay rap battles or this songs rap battles okay <laughs> i think i know this answer nikki or kadi ओके राजकुमारी और आठकोर ओके बिरयानी और सद्या ये ओके वेर 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 कैन वी फाइंड डीएमसी स्पेंडिंग मोस्ट ऑफ आर टाइम कुकिंग इन द किचन और कुकिंग इन द स्टूडियो कम ऑन मैन डी कम ऑन कुकिंग स्टूडियो ऑब्वियसली आंसर बट पीपल है टू नो इट राइट ये Studios. Okay, okay. Cooking in the studio, trip with the family or ride with the girls. Ride with the girls. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Mom, so, <laughs> so what do you like wearing? Western outfit or is it tra- traditional outfits? Mostly western. Okay. But the side. Yeah. Okay, D. If God gave you one superpower, what will you ask for? Come on. This is a superpower. What will be that? Yeah, na, our whole conversation. I mean. Um, मैं ना मेरा इमेजिनेशन ऐसा चलता है कि आई लाइक इमेजिनिंग माई सेल्फ एज बिग एज द माउंटेन वेन आई एम लुकिंग एट माउंटेन आई लाइक इमेजिनिंग माई सेल्फ एज अ बिग टॉल पर्सन हनुमान जैसा आई वुड वॉन्ट टू बी लाइक हनुमान वाला आई वुड वॉन्ट एकदम एकदम छोटा हो जाओ या तो एकदम बड़े हो जाओ ओके उड़ सकूँ Hanuman powers I want crazy crazy <laughs> yeah a girl wishing for hanuman's power that is that is the greatest thing i've heard so far and like the, there is something you want to uh, talk to your fans tell your tell to your fans or give a message to your followers or anything like tell me what does it take to be like the mc i have a song name believe in god okay so that would be my message that mm-hmm. i believe in myself like they believe in god mm-hmm. i don't i don't believe in the religion religious aspect of god but i believe in a higher power mm-hmm. i believe in universe and our soul having energy and all that so my message for people would be every day you spend your life please remember this one line helped me a lot i wrote written it down in my journal after therapy that you are the constant mm-hmm. everything else is a variable Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. change is the only constant yeah so you're yeah. constantly changing but you are your only constant mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. else comes exactly. and goes you are the only one with you since the time you are born till the time you die family is there friends are there love is going to be there but connection with yourself is what any religion also tries to teach you mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. kaise mm-hmm. apne aap se aap close aa sakte ho so no matter what you do never like try never try not to ever lose touch with yourself 
that would be my only message man that's a very great message to the people out there listening mm-hmm. and watching this podcast d i really appreciate you for yes. taking your time out i know it's too late and dsb <laughs> been in the studio for a long time we've been yes. chatting and i but really apologize fun, apologize fun. if i got you no, late no, but it was so much fun like you know i didn't even realize that i think the we need to that, apologize to the camera people see people bored. this is this is what happens <laughs> when you come to off stage podcast you just forget the time you just in the in the conversation and this is what happens when two artists come together and they talk about hip hop and they have a conversation i think by the time you shoot the fifth episode they're just going to press <laughs> they're going to leave yo, <laughs> yeah they have and no it's <laughs> it's been a crazy journey and it's been a crazy experience talking to you we yes, really appreciate you for coming out to off stage podcast for sure man you know with this with this thing we are coming to an end of this session people if you're watching us please subscribe, please subscribe. and comment to comment and show your support to hip hop show your support to dmc by going go and check check out our song that's coming out on the women's day and this message is for all the women in hip hop and in the world happy women's day to everyone go be yourself and do what you want yeah yeah that's right this is your boy tony sebastian aka tony psycho signing off peace out yes.